I'm dreaming. I'm going to take you on a journey to Alaska. I got a call one day and they said, okay, where would you like to go and do a two books on some part of the country? A guidebook and a beautiful book. I said, okay, how about Alaska? Climb up every day and ski down. And when I got to Alaska, the writer, who's a good friend of mine, she looked at my calendar and she laughed at me. She goes, uh, this is Alaska. You can't plan anything here because the weather is in control. So I said, all right, well, I'll do the best I can. And so that's what we did. We went out and we lived on this glacier for about 10 days and hiked around, roped up. I mean, it's just an amazing place. Three and a half months alone for the most part. I have really good conversations with myself. So what else do I need? It's in September, and I'm going to start driving north, and I'm not stopping until I see the northern lights. And I got back in the car. Exactly five miles later, I looked up, and the sky was just giving a show. And uh, they didn't last very long, the northern lights. 
They lasted about 20 minutes that night. But I was very happy. I mean, that was the first time I saw them. And no picture does justice to the Northern Lights once you've seen them in person. Perfections and scars. It goes beyond listing flaws and failures, regretting what could have been. When there's nothing left, not a lie to hide beneath, no single soul to blame, no errant universal cataclysmic event. When there's nothing left,
smallest bit, every outside force shed, leaving the eye what brings light from inside through eyes out, filled with wonder of life. When there's nothing left, not a lie to hide me, no single soul to blame, no errant universal cataclysmic there's nothing left.
Thank you. 